Babe, what you making? It's breakfast time. Puran poli. Puran poli. <laughs> Hello, friends. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are going to make puran poli. So let's go ahead and get started. You want to start off with one and a half cup of chana dal, a fourth a teaspoon of turmeric, and three cups of water. Set your Instapot to 10 minutes. And for the dough mixture, two cups of wheat, one cup of all, a fourth teaspoon of turmeric, one fourth teaspoon salt, two tablespoons of oil, and about a half of a cup of water. Set it to the side with a towel on top for one hour. Then you'll start grating your joggery. It'll be one and a half cups of fresh grated joggery. Looks like our doll is finished. There should be little, little, little water. You'll drain it and then you'll put it into your blender or you can mash it by hand. The blender makes a smoother paste, easier to work with. Should look like this. Once that's completed, put it back in your Instapot or on your stove and you'll want to cook that. Cook it for a little while and then add in your joggery. Once it starts to hold its shape, add one teaspoon of ghee and a half a teaspoon of cardamom powder. Should look like this, set it to the side and let it cool. In the meantime, you want to start kneading your dough. Take it out, knead it a little bit. Don't over knead it, but it should look like this. Then you like to flatten it, and then I'll use my dough cutter, and I'll make equal portions. This should make 12, so I cut my dough into 12 individual pieces, like I'm doing here. Um, and once I'm finished, I will look like this, and then you'll just take, and you will roll your dough balls, just like I'm doing with each and every one. Then you'll flatten it out and you'll start to make like a cup or a bowl shape with your dough because in the center is where we're going to place our doll mixture. So once you have done that, you'll get one of your balls of um, doll that you had made with your mixture once it cooled and you'll just start forming that ball around it and then it should look like that. You'll dust it with a little all-purpose flour and then you'll start rolling it as so. Roll it as thin as you can, so thin enough so it doesn't crack, but just like I'm doing here, roll it nice and thin so it will get nice and poofy on the pan. There you go, now you're ready to cook them. Look guys, look, it's poofing up. <laughs> poofing up, poofing up, poofing up. Mm. Dun, Comment karo, comment karo. Hum bejega plane ka ticket. Spice jet ka ticket bejega, spice jet. Aapki babi ji aapke liye ticket bejegi. So we are eating puram puri with what else? Puram puri with what? Chai. Chai? With masala chai. What? Why do you have that knife on there? So it's a trick. You know when you make chai, the milk boils over. Yeah. If you keep something on top of it like this, every time the milk foam starts to touch this, Goes back down. Never no boils. way. Yeah, never boils over. Let's see. Let's see. It's already Show me. finished. Oh man, I should have yeah. caught it. Look, so Let many. Guys, oh my god. Put on. No, you're breaking Wait, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show one. You're breaking it. I'm gonna slow. I know it's your prized possession. Look, guys. Oh, it's already falling. <laughs>
for you for breakfast. <laughs> okay, and chai, see. masala chai. What? Let's look. Oh, masala chai and puran pori. Right, let's smell chai. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm, chai can suban a lot. Puran pori. You want to show the puran pori inside? Look. There they are, puran pori inside. Puran pori. Soft. You dip it in your chai, no? What? You dip it in your chai? Why not? Taste, no. Tastes good. Just like this. Nope. Taste With it. The... Try a little bit. Who said that? I never. Do it. Just try it. Don't let the crumbs go. <laughs> it's gonna fall inside. Goodness. Ma! See, it didn't fall. No, I like eat it like this. Okay. Eat it then. Good job, Purum Puri. Cool. Mmm, ta. Yum. Alright, guys, you know what to do. If you like the video, share and follow more. And excuse me for my morning <laughs> mess. Bye, guys.